Research has shown that imagination in play and imagination in learning develops children's learning of concepts. You have to train to um, um, go in a rocket. It says inside the sun, here's the moon and there's the earth. In Land of Learning, primary school children wander, imagine, inquire and want to learn concepts to help solve the social problems that arise. But the moon don't have any water. The moon has no water. Based on research, this video is an example of an evidence-based model. The evidence-based model explores the nature of play and learning in a way that motivates children and engages adults in wanting to explore science concepts in primary schools. And then we um, made the rocket and we fly to the moon. Land of Learning is a great way for teachers to motivate children to learn concepts and we can help you design such a program. When teachers design imaginary situations and introduce social problems, our research has shown that children can and do engage with 21st century concepts. There's something about the safe foods that no one's mentioned yet. Oh. They have auto heat, but that uses up power. So this was a bot, um, an asteroid, and went. But how do we set up a land of learning play worlds for primary schools? This video is designed to walk you through the steps. These teachers chose the story of the secret garden by Francis Hodgson Burnett. Is where he perched on the little heap of earth and he showed me the key. It was the starting point for their land of learning adventure which turns their school environment into space travel. We selected the uh, science concept relating to the story because we were thinking about, again, that whole idea of the magical, the mystical and the children's fascination with um, something bigger than the world, you know, the, the solar system, the moon um, and, and the Earth's place in it. And really, we learnt you can choose any, any story and any science concept and if you use imagination to link them, you can create a problem yeah. and the links. The curriculum content focuses on the relations between the Earth, moon and sun. Oh, it's all the sun. sun. January, February, March. There are five things to think about when planning and implementing a land of learning play world in a school setting. The first step is selecting an engaging story. So Ariana was going through a list, we'd sort of shortlisted it to a few, and when she said The Secret Garden, I said yes, because I remember my mother had bought it for me. I sort of had an emotional connection with it yeah. already. And we thought by choosing a book such as The Secret Garden, we could, um, encourage the children to, um, one, um, have empathy with the characters, but also um, help them to see how if you seek beyond yourself, um, you grow as a person. The next step is to design the environment for the land of learning. We design the space around the um, uh, land of learning play world by thinking of what we had. We had a wonderful um, climbing frame that is enormous that gave us the opportunity to think about um, going into the rocket ship, um, which was uh, fantastic. So we had the opportunity to use not just the classroom as a learning um, space, design uh, special space, but also um, what we had around us to, to sort of like um, transport the children, if you like, in different areas to completely um, encourage them to be immersed in that, into, in that concept. The training camp or school and yeah. various names but the children really made that their own so that we just kind of had a space allocated for that and a time but then they turned it into a whole routine that involved marching and all these sorts of things um, so I, I feel like the children made that um, yeah. play space come alive. The third step is the planning for the entry and exit into the play world. NASA is ready let's go to the launching pad. That was the purpose of the um, training school. That's um, right. And so yeah. that involved things, so getting into our imaginary costumes, we put our spacesuits yeah. on. Yeah. Both children and teachers decide what character they will be, and everybody enters the land of learning together. The imaginary space is 
an absolute joy for some children. For other children, it's more daunting and they need encouragement. So we did things, we gave some children special roles. So we had children taking measurements with clipboards and doing calculations and things. They were collecting data to send off to NASA. Who else do we need? I'm Mary. Fabulous. We would yep. role model as well, of, but us getting into character. So we might yell out, I'm Mary, or yes, you're Colin, that's right. or and, and that's what I'm an do. engineer today. And then we found that the children would join in and they would, you know, we'd end up with five Collins. And, 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 and that's what we did before we were going to enter into a space like the Secret Garden. We did. We assigned, we encouraged the children to um, assign themselves a role um, so that they knew before we got yeah. there. Everyone exits the Land of Learning Play War together. It's time to enter real life again. I'm locking the secret garden. The fourth step is to plan the problem that will arise before or during the Land of Learning Play World. What? So you've gone to the moon yep. on some kind of mission? Yeah, the yep. recce. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing if it's a distress signal, hasn't gone really well. No. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. And you've landed on the, the far side of the moon. Yes, and that's yeah. right. Navigation went yeah. wrong. Yeah. Explain why I was going up there. It's cold. Yeah, it's cold. You can't okay. see a lot. Limited yeah. resources. No so solar we power. Want, we want to really um, encourage the sense of urgency. So we want the children to be scientists, engineers. So we've got to learn so that we can then and emphasise with this. Your yeah. battery could be at a percentage. Hello, hello, children, children. It's 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 cousin Robin. Robin, Red Robin's cousin, and I'm, I'm stuck on the moon, and I need your help. The children learn the concepts so they can solve the problem. How to rescue cousin Robin. I'm sending out a message via satellite, and I hope you can help me with that, and I, I hope you can come and help me. The problem is what motivates the children to learn. She's up there on the far side, and she's thinking about living, non-living conditions. It's dangerous. She didn't bring tools. Why did she have to make a vegetable garden on the moon? Why didn't she just make one on Earth? To see if the next generation of life could actually live in the lunar base. Finally, plan the interactions you have with the children and each other. It's a way teachers can build 21st century conceptual learning. We had to prepare mm. um, how we would support various children in various ways, so that involved you know, one teacher might be encouraging children to get into character, another one might be giving some more direct information about the science concepts. Most of the children were working on a prototype of block building um, and it was very obvious what they were doing and they were using all of the scientific terminology and I saw one of the girls off to the side and I thought, oh, she's working on her own. I thought, I'm just going to go and ask her what she's doing. Um, and she said, I'm building mission control. And I thought, wow. So it looks like you're off doing your own thing um, and it's it's not related and perhaps you haven't absorbed some of these um, you know, problems and concepts, all these things that we're talking about. And I thought, no, you're, you're building mission control for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I was so um, glad I'd taken the time to speak with her yeah. and not made any assumptions. This was the first time I did Play Worlds. So for me, it was just wonderful to be part of the learning, being present with the children and seeing where they take it. I think as teachers intuitively we know that play works and play is the, the child's world and we enjoy playing as well, that's why we're teachers. And so often we find it difficult to understand why a school would not take that approach. So for us it was so easy, we're playing, we're dealing with the concept and for us to tell other schools, have a go, do it play around with it, have a plan, see, just observe where the kids are going with the learning. It was, it was complex learning for us uh, and, and then a celebration of actually even at that level of complexity, it's fun, we can still have fun with that. Yeah, and losing control, just letting it go and schools sometimes are a place of control, that's what it is, we're controlling the learning, we're controlling how they learn, what they're learning and the outcome. Are we landing? This is amazing. amazing. Ha ha ha!
Ja, das ist ja.